Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of Guitar with Bethany. Um, first of all, this week I'd like to give a shout out to all of my homies at Icon Collective. Um, thanks for being there for me when I needed you. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the diaspora of um, the acoustic... Hold on, let me check my mail. It's my uncle. He's actually a really good guitar player, that's the only reason I checked it. Um, the diaspora of the acoustic guitar player and how a lot of people um, in their, you know, younger years, um, say teens to twenties, a lot of them will change to the electric guitar. Um, me, myself, um, I have not uh, chosen to do this for many reasons. Um, I feel that um, I, am a, I am a guitar purist. Um, I do not appreciate it when people uh, uh, devalue um, things such as instruments because they maybe not be as loud or something. Guitar can be just as loud as an acoustic guitar can be just as loud as an electric guitar given the right circumstances. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to talk a little bit today about things that you can do on the, uh, on the acoustic guitar that you can't do on the electric guitar. Um, well, first of all, this is a nice old um, Crabiola. It's um, from 1978. And, oh, I have to call my friend Susie. Hold on. <laughs> 